Hey guys, so as you can see by the bag in front of me, this is going to be my very first family dollar haul. I was actually unaware of the fact that we had family dollars in this area or around this area and I had went to Dollar Tree today and the cashier told me that we in fact have three. So I went to the one that was closest to me in my house and it took me, I want to say, about 13 minutes to get there. Not super far. And it was out in the boondocks. It's not in the best area, but the store itself was really nice, really clean, and it's brand new. So I did find some good deals there. I got a lot of items for $1, and then I got some other items that were a little bit more than a dollar. So I will let you guys know each individual item and how much it costs. So the first things that I got were actually in the front of the store near the Valentine's Day stuff. And these are very similar to the floral picks that I got from, I believe it was Walgreens. I got the ones that I put in my floral arrangement, and they were almost the exact same but the other floral picks that I got with the lips had the red glitter and then some like chunky kind of like little circle glitters all over it so for a buck I thought this was a really good deal you get four in a pack because I paid $1.99 I believe for the pack that I got at Walgreens I probably won't use these this year because it's so close to Valentine's Day, but I thought for a dollar a pack, I will definitely put these away until next year because I love these picks with the lips on them. I think they're really cute. I got this little, I don't know, decoration for out in the garden. I thought it was really cute. It's like a little ladder and you can hang it on something. And I chose the little black bear. This was a dollar. I don't know if I already said that. As far as the outdoor garden section and like all the solar lights and all the garden decor, this family dollar was awesome and I thought the prices were great. They had really, really cute stuff for outdoors at very, very reasonable prices. I just didn't want to go crazy on all the outdoor stuff yet because we're still in winter. When it gets a little bit closer, I will get some more stuff. So I chose this with the little black bear, and he's got the little blue jeans on with the overalls. They had an owl, they had a ladybug, and a couple different um, characters. This was $3, and I thought it was a good deal. This is the Caress Evenly Gorgeous, and this is the Burnt Brown Sugar and... I do not how or I don't know how you pronounce that correct butter. It's the exfoliating body wash. It smells really good. This is 12 fluid ounces and I thought $3 and a couple of pennies. I thought that was a great deal for this. <clears throat> I got these really cute magnets for a dollar. They had tons of different magnets and of course you know I chose the coffee magnets. So this one has the coffee beans and it says everything gets better with coffee. And then I got this one. This one's my favorite. It's red and it says all you need is love and more coffee. So I thought those were really cute. If I saw these at Dollar Tree, I would definitely buy them. So I thought they were well worth a dollar. They had ones that said like or mom's kitchen... Um, mom's kitchen, food made with love, like, I don't know, all different really cute magnets. I got this acne treatment cream, and it's the maximum strength. This was $2. It says compared to Clarisol, and the reason I decided to get this is because I don't normally do any acne creams or anything like that. I don't think they work. I looked on the back and the main active ingredient is benzoyl peroxide and benzoyl peroxide is what works the best on my face as far as acne so I thought why not give this a try you know when I have breakouts I can put this on and see how well it works and for only two dollars it's one ounce of product so we'll see how that works I got this LA Colors Moisturizing 
glossy lips for a dollar. I thought that was a good deal. It's the High Shine formula, and I chose the color called Popsicle Dream. I got this LA Colors 18 color eyeshadow palette for $2. And this one is, does it have like a name? I don't see like, okay, it's Downtown Brown. Because they had three different palettes, three or four. They had one with like purples, one with blues, and then they had this one. This was the one I liked the best. I think all eyeshadows work out pretty well as long as you use a decent primer and I actually use the NYX concealer that comes in a little like you know the little pots and it's concealer that's sticky I use that as an eye primer I think it makes the colors even cheaper eyeshadows stand out and work well so I don't know I've never tried this exact palette I'll see how it works and I'll let you guys know I thought two dollars for this was a pretty good deal I got this little black bear for a dollar. It's a mini puff animal. They had lots of different animals in this as well. They had turtles, frogs. So the two black bear items that I got was this little one for a dollar and this one. These will go in my little garden area. I just thought the black bears were cute. I got this body wash for $1. This is the Modessa. I've never really heard of this brand. I'm not too familiar with it. This is the Vanilla Honey, and it's sweet and delectable. It's 12 fluid ounces. You guys know I love vanilla, and this actually smells really good. And when you move it around, it doesn't seem too super watery. It actually seems like, see how it kind of goes slow? It seems like you know, a body gel, so I thought I would give it a try for a buck, and if I like it, when I go back, I'll get some more. I wish they would have had more Valentine's Day decor, but I'm kind of late, you know, it's only a couple days away, so they probably had a lot more. I got this really adorable sign for three dollars. They had one that said XOXO, and I'm kind of wishing I would have got that one instead. I think that one was a little bit cuter, but I'm so indecisive. And while I was at the front of the store at the register, I just grabbed one and set it down. So it's got the two red hearts. It says love, and I don't know if I said this was $3. It's got a little tag on it if you want to give it away that says to and from. And then, let me see, there's the $3 sign. It's got the little dotted line so you can rip that off. And you can actually stick pictures on these little swirly things on the top. This, I thought, was a really good price. I actually used to collect angels, like, I mean, crazy. I had so many different angels. And I still have, not like tons of them, but I have a... Uh, what would you call it? It's like a corner curio type thing, and it's got glass. It's two shelves, and it's filled up with the angels, like the really pretty ones that I kept. And so I still do like angels. I just don't collect them like I used to. This is actually, I think, for Out in Your Garden. It was only $3. It's a cherub angel, and it's by outdoor or Outdoors by Design. They had a couple different ones. They had one holding a rabbit. That would be cute for Easter, but I liked this one. I don't know if I'll put this in my garden or if I'm going to put this in that little display case that I have. I'll probably end up putting it on my front porch by the front door. So I thought three bucks for that was awesome. I thought she was cute and pretty. This was either two or three dollars, and I was so excited to find this because I think at Target this is like $4.99 or $5.99. It's the Queen Helen Mint Julep Mask. You guys know this has been around forever and it's just, you know, the green mask that you put on and it hardens and when you laugh or talk it kind of starts cracking and these are actually really good for your skin. It says complexion solution deeply cleans and refreshes oily and acne prone skin which is right up my alley. So... It is 8 ounces of product. I thought that was a way better buy at 2 bucks. 
as opposed to four or five ninety nine. I got both of these little guys in the garden section. I definitely could not pass these up for a dollar. I thought these would be like three dollars. I picked out the one that's got the kind of rustic looking sun, which I really like. And then I chose this one. And it's got the butterfly and it says love. And the butterfly is pretty. Butterflies aren't my favorite. It's not that I have anything against them. I think they're really pretty. I don't normally like lean towards butterflies but I did like the pink glitter on it so I went ahead and chose that I almost got the ladybug with the red and black but I went ahead and got this one instead they had lots of different ones in these little dollar inspirational stone with hooks I thought these were pretty cool for a dollar each they are huge so I don't think I'll be hanging these in you know the mirror in the middle at the top of your car I'll probably put it like on my blinker or something like that so there's not like a huge tree but I thought for a buck I got the new car because that's a scent that I've used for a really really long time in my car and then for the past about I don't know seven seven eight years I started using the black ice so I got one of each this one is really really strong for the first two days but once it starts wearing off it smells like a men's cologne and I just really like it in my car. So these were a dollar each. I got some Valentine's Day cards that I thought were really pretty for a dollar each. This one's got all the really pretty glitter. And then look at all the really pretty hearts and flowers that say love. It's got the pink envelope. And I like the fact that these have the plastic like seals over them so they don't get dirty or ruined. It says love and then you happy Valentine's Day so just sweet and to the point you could give that one to anyone and then I thought this one was really cute with the bouquet of really pretty glittery hearts and that one right there looks like kind of a book print and then it's got the couple at the bottom and it says love is in the air with a pink envelope and it says my heart still skips a beat when you walk into a room Happy Valentine's Day. So, obviously, this would be for Jordan. I think I already have a card picked out for him. Well, I did get a couple cards. I don't know which one I'm going to give him, but I always put cards away for the following year. So, I'll probably maybe give him this one this year or put it away for next year or the year after that. And then, I actually wish I would have got this for my mom, but I already mailed my mom a Valentine's Day card so I picked this one up to give to Jordan's mom. It says, For you, mother. And look how pretty this card is. I just thought it was really pretty with the hearts. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got this pretty magenta pink envelope. And it says, I don't even think I read the inside. I just saw the outside and grabbed it. You are loved and appreciated, cherished and admired, not just saying or not just today, but every day throughout the year. With love on Valentine's Day. So Jordan's mom will really like this Valentine's Day card. Hopefully she's not watching this video and sees it in advance. She actually, sorry, I'm pulling up my sleeves. She actually watches my videos sometimes. Then I looked at the thank you cards and this was the only pack that I liked. It was only a dollar. It comes with six of the cards and it's got all the really cute hearts and it says thank you. And I like the gold polka dots and then the little flowers and bows. I just thought it was a cute little pack of thank you cards for a dollar. I got this pack of hair clips for a dollar. I thought these were super cute. And yes, these are probably for a little girl, but I'll be using them in my hair. I always use a clip when I put my hair up. I use a claw and I put my hair up and then down kind of by my neck I use one little clip right there because I have like baby hair so I always use one of these and I thought just for close to Valentine's Day I would actually probably use these year round and for a buck they're super cute. I got one of these Intamin's candles this is the all butter loaf cake and Miss Cartier Loves Brian actually sent me a couple of these and they smelled really good 
Not in this exact scent, but I do like the Intamin's candles. They had one other one, and it was lemon pound cake, and it did smell good, but I'm not into lemon, so I got this one and passed on the other one. I got these really cute bracelets. Oh, and this Intamin's candle was a dollar. I don't know if I said that. I got this bracelet. I thought this was really cute for a buck. I like the rhinestone one or the jewels right there with the mint green and then the silver jewels in between. I probably shouldn't have put that on now. I'm not going to be able to take it off. And then I got this one. Let me put this one on too. And I thought that was pretty as well for a buck. So it's got the kind of braided beads in the back and then it's got the pink kind of disco ball looking one. So I thought those were so cute for a dollar, especially around Easter because it's in the mint green and the pink. Let's see. I got a Valentine's Day coffee mug and it's actually a decent size. It's not huge, but it's not teeny tiny and this was $2. So you can see it says it's dishwasher and microwave safe. I thought it was cute. It's not like the cutest, but it was cute for $2 and it's pretty heavy duty. I got this LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss and I thought this color was gorgeous. I'm not too sure about the color payoff, but it looks like a really nice lip shine for two dollars so they had many different colors they had red clear like pinks so this was my favorite and this one is there a name on this let me see yeah i don't see i don't see like a name or anything on it i don't know why some of the cheaper brands don't put like names for the colors but whatever then I got these, which I thought were super cute. Let's see, there's still more stuff in there, little stuff. I got these kind of jogger pants, and I know they're huge because I'm a big girl. These are an extra large, as you can see, and I thought they were really cute with this kind of gray look. And then this is what I thought was really cute. It's got white, like a turquoise, mint green, and then the bright pink, and it says Varsity Athletics University, and then the bottom, you could roll them up like that, and it was already rolled up like that, or you could just have it regular like this, so I'll probably just wear them regular, or if I'm around the house, I'll roll them up, who knows, so, and then it's got the little tie right there, and these were $10.00. They had a lot of really reasonably priced, really cute, like, jogger pants and jogger shirts and fitted shirts. Just really cute stuff as far as clothes go. They even had a really cute dress that I almost bought for Easter, but I wasn't sure if it was going to fit me. It was only $12.50, but I passed. I don't know their return policy so then I got these lip smackers, which I believe I already have. Actually, I know for a fact I already have the vanilla one. These were $1.50. I thought that was still a good good price for the lip smackers, even individually. And then I got the cotton candy, which I'm not sure if I have this exact one, but I love both of the scents, so these were $1.50 each. They had, like, watermelon, strawberry, many different flavors in these. I got two of these Scripto lighters. I thought these were really cute. I always like to get really cute lighters for lighting candles. This one has the leopard print on it with all the different colors. And then there's this Scripto one that's also leopard, but it's just black and white and it's got the one lit print right there. These were a dollar each. And then the last thing that I got, which is, of course, all the way at the end of the bed, so it's going to get bouncy again. Oh, jeez. Was this. And I'm not really into extra. I can't imagine that it's the best laundry soap. But, you guys, this huge thing was $6. And, look, it's warm vanilla comfort. And it did smell good. 
It's the HE for all machines. It says it does 116 loads, which for me, it's probably not going to do even close to that. It'll probably only do half. I'll probably use like double because it's extra. So it's probably not something that I will continuously buy and repurchase, but because it was vanilla, I couldn't pass it up. And I thought, you know what? I'll give it a try for six bucks. This is 175 fluid ounces, which is 1.36 gallons. And I've never, ever seen any laundry soap in vanilla, so I had to get it. So that is everything that I got from the Family Dollar. I'm really excited to know that there is a Family Dollar. And I'm not going to go, like, all the time, but I will stop in every now and again because they do have some really good deals. They have, like, bed spreads there. They have kitchen rugs. They have all types of stuff there. They have food just cleaning products. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's just like a regular store and the prices are awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy watching my videos, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video, which will be a Dollar Tree haul. Bye, guys.